I now give the floor to the Youth Delegate of Australia. Thank you for the floor and thank you to the third committee for this debate and to the Australian Government for the opportunity and privilege to speak on behalf of the young people of Australia. I would first like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which I make this speech today, the Wajak Noongar people. This land was stolen and never ceded, and I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging, and any First Nations people who may be present here today. We are meeting today to discuss how we can best further the Youth 2030 strategy, but first I think we must acknowledge the disproportionate impact that the COVID-19 pandemic has had on young people. This pandemic may be unprecedented, but the impact on our institutions was not. We already knew the importance of well-funded and accessible physical and mental health care. We knew that workers in insecure jobs face different daily risks to the rest of our workforce. And we already knew that education plays a crucial role, not only for our youth, but each of our households and to all of our communities. Our decision-making processes need to be more inclusive and accessible to all people, most prominently young people and young women. The stress the pandemic has put on all of our communities has not surprised these groups, who have already recognised the inequalities in our institutions, but haven't been listened to. As it stands, I am the sole youth representative to the UN. The weight of the voice of all of our young people falls on me, and while I'm so proud and honoured to carry this weight, I fear that I cannot adequately create impactful change across all priority areas alone, from mental health to climate change, discrimination to juvenile justice. Today, I ask for your help. We need greater representation of the United Nations in Australia. We need more Australians involved in the work of the United Nations as youth delegates and in other roles. But most importantly, we need more young people involved in all aspects of policy and decision making in Australia to accurately and fairly represent our nation on the global stage. Policymakers and those in positions of power and privilege have a pathway to change. And this pathway is including marginalised actors in decision making processes. It is my utmost priority moving forward in my role that those groups have a seat at the table. However, I cannot do this alone. As young Australians, we ask this of the United Nations to help equip us with the tools to create this change, to help us advocate to policy and decision makers, and to lay the foundation for young Australians to feel empowered to create solutions to the issues we see as most problematic. Despite the immense challenges we face, young people today represent the most passionate and motivated generation we have ever seen, and we will continue to forge change to create fairer policies and practices for a brighter future in Australia and throughout the world. Thank you.